area. We gonna talk about areas, right? I still remember what is area again? What what is an area? An area. What is an area? Oh, sorry, I was muted. Oh, oh okay. yeah. Oh, what is an area? Area is 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 something, right? Yeah, area is like the perimeter plus the all together. Perimeter. The perimeter looks all together. So area is like the, the size, right? The size of, of a shape, like how big it is, how how weird it is, right? Yeah. What's the what's the size of a shape? But perimeter, perimeter is is the outside of the shape, right? It doesn't yeah. matter how big it is, how small it is, as long as we, we just count it down. Okay, the outside round, what is it? Right? Yeah. That's called area and the parameter, they are different. Okay. Uh -huh. So today it's about mm, area. So area, <sighs> what's the, the following shape? So in our school, we introduce some standard shapes about how to calculate their areas, right? For example, okay. uh, the, the, the rectangle, the square, uh, the triangle, circle. Yeah, and then, and mm. then do you say something about like, making it into a shape we all know and then mm. it's easier to calculate yes so that that's that's the standard shapes right so yes. right in, in our daily life in our real life sometimes the shape is super weird like we don't even know very. how to yeah very weird right we don't even know how to say oh what is it what shape it is so in this way sometimes we we need to find some tricks Right, some yeah, tricks or some strategies to figure out the, how we can calculate the shape. Yeah, yeah these, they are weird, but we have strategy to deal with the weirdness stuff, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so- Some of the weird mm. shapes are like, they're like rectangles, like a square, mm. like a mm. triangle, an octagon, like smooshed all together. Yes, yeah, smooshed all together. Good job, smooshed all together. So. <laughs> that's that's kind of one way to look at those weird things. Yeah, they are weird, but they have some standard stuff in it, right? They are weird just because they smoosh together with some standard things we know, like the yeah. a rectangle, like a square. So our first idea is like, okay, mm, for some weird shape, maybe we can separate it into some some pieces we already know, right? For example, yeah. oh, this shape. This shape is weird. It's like mm, a fat L, right? A fat L. Mm -hmm. So, oh, it's weird. And we don't even know how to call it, but we can we can see it as, as some standard shapes we already know, familiar ones. For example, oh, if it comes like this, what kind of shapes oh. you got right now? Rectangles. Oh, rectangle and? And huh? and uh the top the top ones kind of like look like a square. Oh, square. So it's a fat L. But after I cut it, we we separate it into two shapes. That all the two shapes we know them very very well, and we know mm -hmm. how to calculate the area, right? Yeah. So that's our first strategy: you separate the weird shape into standard shapes that we know, mm -hmm. and then we can calculate each separate shape of the area and then put them together, right? Yeah. So how we calculate? First, we need to calculate mm, what's the area of the rectangle, what's the area of the square. Let's do the put them together. square first. Mm, go ahead. So one side it says it's four meters. Mm -hmm. And the square, all of the sides are the same. Mm -hmm. So it should be four and four, which equals 16. Good right. job. Area is side times the side, four times four, mm, 16. Yeah. yeah, correct. It's not you think, it's correct. So what about the rectangle? The rectangle, um, that should be 10. No, that should be... Mm, okay, to, to still the, the side. Top, mm, go ahead. Wait, the top? The side is 10 meters, right? Mm hmm. And the top is four meters. Mm -hmm. So, oh, good minus, job. Four. Mm. So, minus four. Mm -hmm. 10 minus oh, four. Good job. Six. Oh, so good should job. Be six mm -hmm. times 10. Good job. So, the rectangle will find out okay, one side is six, the longer side is 10. So, what's the area for this rectangle? Mm. Oh, six so times 10. Six, 60. 
Oh, 60. Oh, 16. Oh, good job. It Plus the 16 equals 76. Good job. Equals 76. So that, that's our first strategy. It's like, mm, I cut it. I cut it into the shapes I know. So I know yeah. you. I know you small pieces very well. So I put all the small pieces together. I can show. I can say, okay, I know this weird thing well as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. One strategy. Mm, what about second one? So it's still the same thing. Mm, one way we can cut it. But what if I add another area to make it a standard one? How we can how we can make the standard you one add, by add? Mm, I add. You add the the um part that is missing from the square. You see that thing? Like what I thought. Oh, thing? Like, like like this, right? Okay. It's yeah. a fat L. Okay. Cut. It missing an angle, so I put the angle back. Okay. Yeah. After Honestly, this, mm. I wish I wish that I mm -hmm. could just draw on here and then like draw. Oh, you 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 wish? Okay, maybe you can change to like an iPad with a pen, right? You can draw draw it. Okay. Anyway, after we add the angle back, the weird fat L becomes a becomes a. Rectangle. Oh, become I mean, a rectangle square. or oh, a 10, 10. It's a square. So it's again, square. I don't know the fat L, but I know this thing. It's mm -hmm. a square. What's the area of this square? 100. Oh, 100. And then since we add an angle for area, F1, we need to delay the, the, the extra area, right? Delay this one. Do Four we know? Times six equals twenty-four. So one hundred minus twenty-four equals seventy-six. Oh, good, good job. Quick calculation, a hundred percent. Okay. So remember, at this time, okay, it's a weird shape, but I can add some some standard shape right now. At this point, we add a rectangle to make it to make this fat L become. A square. We know this square. Mm -hmm. We calculate the area, and after that, we delayed the extra area we put on. So mm -hmm. that's how we get seventy six. So the, our first strategy for the weird shape, we separate it into the shapes we know, and we put together after we calculated the area, or we add a piece we know. We add a standard piece, and we calculated the area of this standard shape we made and then delayed it the extra mm -hmm. piece we got that's how we yeah how we got it. okay first strategy easy and very straightforward yes what about this okay this oh i see overlapping oh i know this square. one i know this oh, part oh, overlapping okay let's read first the two squares become oh become a rectangle mm, the length of the rectangle is 16. see ya yes for the overlap part the white is ACM. What's the area of the oh, rectangle? Uh, the rectangle. Where comes so, the rectangle again? Mm. So. For the okay. overlap mm. Go ahead. part. Are we trying to figure out, um, like, if it was not overlapped? Are we trying to figure out that? Or are we trying to figure out the whole rectangle? It says the area of the rectangle. So every rectangle is become oh, two squares. Two squares become a rectangle after overlapping. So, oh, this rectangle, right? The area uh -huh. of, of this one. How we can calculate this? Hmm. We, we only know, okay, it's from two squares. And we overlap a little bit and become a rectangle. How we discuss, how we find out the area of the... Of the rectangle then. And, oh, we have two more two more things. The length of the rectangle is 16. The overlap part, the width is eight. What we can get from here? Hmm. Anybody have any thoughts? Or we need a small hint thing. Hmm. Wait a minute, isn't there four other I mean two other people? I think so, but they're pretty quiet, so mm -mm. Hello? Anybody there? Mm -mm. It's okay. Let, let's see. Hmm. How we can do this? So since we overlap something, hmm, the area of the rectangle. Any thoughts? Or need a little hint? So anyway, give me a Wait a minute. Oh, what did you find? 
if it overlap is eight, mm -hmm. and the whole thing is sixteen, mm -hmm. then the other two parts together should be eight. Should be eight. eight. Oh, oh, good job. Oh, overlap eight. Oh. And eight divided mm -hmm. by two, which is four. Mm -hmm. So that means each square is. Oh, so square is 12. Mm. That should be 12 times 16 equals the area of the rectangle. Equals the area of the of the rectangle. So let's say for all the math questions, we always want to go from the question, see what we need for the question. So the question is about, okay, ask about the area. So for the area, rectangle with the length, we need the y's. So let's see what we got. Okay, 16. We directly got the length. So right now we just need the wise that's what we need yeah look mm. look, look, look you know mm. how like because the um the not colored side is four mm -hmm. so eight plus four mm -hmm. equals the the width mm -hmm. eight plus oh good job okay you already go far away see we need the wise the wise yeah. is the wise of the rectangle since yes. the rectangle is from two squares, this same size can also see as one side of the square, right? Yes. So right now, starting from the questions, we know what we really need is actually the side of the square. That's what we really need. So yeah. square side, it will be here. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. And then we go from here. Okay. How we get this side? We already know part of this side, which is eight. So now we, what we really need is this part. Is this small part. What we need since again. Four. That thing's four. Good job. From, from what Emma just said. Okay. 16 <laughs> and overlap is eight. So we know the extra two small pieces, the two question mark part first they are the same because it's two same square overlap together so these two parts are the same and then their total is 16 minus 8 which is 8 so each yeah. part will be 4 and then the things 4 and 8 we got the two parts of one side of the square so the side of the square will be 8 plus 4 equals 12. So that's how we get it, 12. And yes. then the area of the rectangle will be 16 times 12, right? Mm -hmm. That's how we get it. That's one way. Or another way to think about how we can get the side of the square. See, it's, it's overlap. 16 and overlap part is, is 8. What mm -hmm. if that side, the 16 side, is not overlapping? the side will be, of course, will be longer, right? And mm -hmm. it will be two sides of the square put together. It's two times the side of the square, which will be 16. And then since it's not overlapped, so we're going to have an extra eight. Right? 16 minus, no, 16 plus eight. Uh huh. Because we have, we have, we assume that there's no overlapping. So two squares will be put in this way. No overlapping means okay. The this side two times the side of the square will be first sixteen, and then sixteen plus one overlap part, right? Yes. Sixteen plus eight, which is twenty-four. It's the two side, two times the, the side of the square. So side of the square will be 12, 12 yeah. cm. And then easily to find out the area of the rectangle will be 16 times 12 equals 192. That's how we get it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and then after the overlapping, uh, let's see about this. Oh, this one, interesting. Pedestrian line. There is a rectangle land with 29 meters long and 15 meters wide. In the middle of the land, there is a one meter wide road to separate the land into four equal parts. Remember, equal. Mm -hmm. Area of each small parts, small parts, oh, equal parts, 
So asking about the area of oh, oh this part, the small pieces. Mm. Okay, I can do that. Mm. How, 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 what's your look, idea? Look, look, look. Mm. So mm. fifteen, right? Mm -hmm. On the width. Yes, the width is fifteen. The length the is twenty nine. The little road here is one. So uh -huh. fifteen minus one uh -huh. equals fourteen. Separated into two, which oh. means the one of the small square sides. Mm -hmm. I mean, the width will be uh -huh. eight. Will be seven. Sorry. Oh, good. Seven. Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen divided by two is and seven. And also on the other side, mm -hmm. was twenty nine minus one equals mm. twenty eight divided by two equals mm. fourteen. So mm -hmm. fourteen times seven equals one. No, ninety eight. Good job, ninety eight. Oh, very good at uh, calculation, huh? Okay, let let's see what 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 Emma just said. Okay, it says. Okay, uh, four equal parts. Equal means all the sides are the same, which means, okay, this side equals this side. And of uh, longer side, okay, this part equals this part. So for the question, again, question the area of each small part, which means we just need to find out one black side and one red side. How we find it? They are equal. We know their total. One is 29, one is 15. So 29 minus the, minus the potassium side, minus the one, the double the red line. So each red line will be 14. And then go back to the, the white width. So 50 meters wide, and then within the one meter broad. So minus the one will be double the size of this part and this part which for one, it will be 14 divided, divided by two equals seven. So now yes. we find out the length and the width of the small part, we will know the area, which is 98. Good job. That's one way to see all the parts as a, a separately and then separately calculate the side. What about the other way? For the area, since we have four equal sides, if we can calculate, we can find out the total area of these four equal parts. Ooh, we will, maybe, we'll maybe. Easily, mm, we'll easily know the area of each one, right? Just divided by four. Maybe mm. you can put all the lines at the top or all the lines mm. at the bottom, so then you can have like a rectangle. Oh, good job. Move, right? Uh, similar from the from the parameter chapter for the parameter we can move for the area we can also move instead of moving the line we move the parts in the area right because area is about the size so we move the whole part so let's move we move all the rows to one angle oh like 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 this and remember because we move all of it let's see so 29 total and 15 we know each side, the road at this point, it will be one. This mm -hmm. one, there will be one. So we will know the, the side of the whole four small parts together. One will be 28, the other one will be 14. Length will be a 28, width will be 14. So they together will be 28 times 14, which is the total parts of the four small pieces, which yeah. also be the four times the, the answer we want. So divided by four, answer will be still the same if we calculate correctly. It's mm -hmm. also 98. So again, in this time, we're gonna introduce another strategy is that for the area when you see some so separate parts, we can see the equal parts as a whole. Calculate all the equal parts together first and then separate them. And then use division to find out each equal part, right? Mm -hmm. How we do it, we move. We move the parts to one angle. We move all the, for example, here, the rows, the, all the pedestrian line in the middle, move the parts in the middle to one angle and try to make all the equal parts together as a whole. After we calculate the whole, we can use division to figure out each small part. There we yes. go. Okay. 
Next one. Oh, this one. Oh, interesting one. The following shape. Mm, it's a shape made from six. Oh, we love this word. Same rectangles, because uh, which means all the rectangles over here are the same. They are completely no difference. Why do I why do I remember like every single one of them? I remember learning about every single one. Because you already learned this chapter, remember? You're gonna okay. Chapter. So okay, this one. Each rectangle has the parameter. Ooh, parameter. We talk parameter? about parameter. Why we suddenly have a parameter here? Let's continue reading. Parameter of 30 centimeter. What is the area of the oh, big rectangle? It's telling us the parameter, it's asking about the area. Strange, strange, strange. What is this about? Well, I mean, they are very related, like the parameter times the parameter equals the area, so they're very related. Well, the parameter times the parameter? Parameter is for rectangle, it's the length times two plus the width times two. The area is the length times the width. Either way, we, oh, are nice, we know the size. So we know the length, we know the width, we know the area or the parameter for rectangle. Yeah, because you okay. just basically just times them together and boom, shakalaka. Uh, yes. So how we can do this? So this question is asking, keep telling us about the parameter, asking about the area. How we can find the connections between parameter and area from this thing? Wait, so are they saying each small, each of the same six same small rectangles? Yes, see, made parameter. from six small rectangles. Mm -hmm. Area of the big one. So asking about the a big one. The final shape. The detail is that all the small ones are the same. Are the same. No difference. What's that gonna telling us? Hmm. Are the same. Which means Wait a minute. small size equals the small end. Small side Ooh. equals the small side. Wait. Long side equals the long side in the in our shape. Long right? side the long side mm. equals the the, the 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 not long side times two. I mean times oh, one oh. times two. Yeah. I something. think somebody's already oh, putting I over here, right? Which means they put together in the shape means oh they are the same. Okay, this side, this line. First, it's a length of the small rectangle. If we see with the 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 top rectangle, this top rectangle. It's the length of this rectangle. But if we see looking down, it's also this rectangle and this rectangle. Two sides. What the two sides? Okay, one, two. Two small sides. In another way, two width of the small rectangle. So in this time, Ooh, in this wait. time, we know. Two Oh, I think it's 10 and 5. Yeah, oh, so it's already finding something. So in this way, we know from this single line, we know, okay, for the small rectangle, for the six same rectangles, we know that the length and the width, they have a connection. And the length is twice the size of the width from our mm -hmm. shape, right? Oh, uh, we and this. they all have to add together to thirty for the parameter. So I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it's ten. It's the long 10 side and... is ten, and the short side is five. Good job. So it it's will be for ten and five. Five, right? So each so... rectangle parameter is thirty. The length is twice the size of the width. So the length will be ten. The width will be five oh that's the connection from from this this question from the parameter and the area we use this one we use this shape to find out the relations between the length and the width yeah and, uh, and uh, uh, thinking about parameter at the same time we can figure out the length in the width and then the area of the big rectangle we just need to find okay 
What's this side? What's this side? The bottom side will be four width of the small rectangle. So it will be 20, right? This one will be 20. And this one, the longer one, five and 10, this one will be 50. Either 20 times 50. 50? You mean 15? Or 15. 15, one five, 15. Or we can say, okay, six small rectangles. So we can calculate one small rectangle and times six. Either way, calculation correct, answer will be the same. Three. Yes. That's how we get it. So remember, especially in the questions like uh, for parameter or the area, the shape sometimes telling us the relations between the length and the width, between the sides mm -hmm. of different shapes. Yeah. So observe the shape very, very carefully. Okay, next one. Let's see what we have. Oh, this one. Oh, overlap again. In the following shape, the shaded part is a quarter of the square and the eighth of the rectangle. How many times the area of the rectangle is the square? Hmm. Two. Oh, two. You, you learned this question before, right? Okay, let's see how we can solve this. The shaded I mean, part. Honestly, go ahead. A mm -hmm. quarter? A quarter. Like, you could know. You literally know the answer by reading this. <laughs> a, a quarter, quarter of the square. <laughs> so it's separate yeah. the square yeah. into, in, into, into four pieces, and the shaded part is one piece. Yeah. Right? An eighth of the rectangle. Or in another way, another trick. It's talking about fraction, right? Mm. Yes. Like fractions. So let's see. His, and the shaded part is connected the two the two shapes, a square and the rectangles, right? So what about we just assume that the shaded part, the area is one, right? The area is one. As, as long as we, we, we lock down the shaded part, we can easily represent the, the square, the area of the square and the area of the rectangle, right? Yeah. So if the shaded part is one, the square, the area of the square will be okay. One is a quarter of the square. So okay. the square will be a quarter uh, is one. The whole yeah. will be four, right? The quarter, yeah. the quarter is one. So the square will be four. So rectangle. One is eighth of the rectangle. So rectangle will be rectangle will be eight. Good job. Rectangle will be eight. So now questions will be easy. How many times the area of the rectangle is the square? How many times eight is four? So eight divided two. by four equals two, 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 two right? Two. In this way, questions easy. So again, in this one, we can assume that the shaded part is a number and we use that number to figure out the square and the rectangle. And then questions asking about how many times we just use division to solve the issue, right? Remember, yeah. always, always figure, try to figure out or assume the connected part first or the overlap part first. And then use the numbers to represent the separate parts, the, uh, represent the square or the rectangle. That's how we solve the uh, issue. That's another strategy. Okay, next uh -huh. Oh, another one. Oh, this one. What? Triangle. Mm, it's our first time to see triangle. Okay, the shaded part is eighth of the small triangle and sixteenth of the big triangle. How many times the area of the oh, big one is the small one? Mm. Two. Oh, again, two, right? Let's see this detail. The shaded part is eighth of the small I, one. I remember once you told me that mm -hmm. these things just if you don't know just assume that it's two sometimes if you uh if, for example you have a competition and uh, sometimes in 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 the timed homework thing that you had to get the answer in a certain amount of time you can guess the answer right that's another strategy that, that that's the worst strategy i should say <laughs> is like yes. just guessing the answer but there's still some strategies about guessing the answer right uh -huh. that, that's that but that's really really in the worst situation that you don't know how to solve this 
and you really need to finish in a timed period. That's how we do it. But again, yeah. now we have time. So let's see how we do this. We have plenty of time. Mm -hmm. So the shaded part is ace of the small triangle and the thick thing to the big one. Again, shaded part is the part that connected two triangles. So we can assume that the shaded part is a certain number. For example, we can see as one. One is always the number we, we, we can come first, one, okay. If yes. shaded part is one, what uh -huh. is the small triangle? What the area of the small triangle? So one shaded part is ace of the small triangle. Small triangle will be one is the eighth. So small triangle will be eight, eight. right? Will be eight. Good job. And then big triangle will be okay. 16. One is sixteenth. So big triangle will be sixteen. Good job. And then how many times the area of the big one is the small one? 16 two. divided by 8 equals, good job, equals two, two. 2. That's how we figure this out. Right? Always pretend to give the number to the connecting part. Give the number to the shaded part and use that number to figure out the, the, the shapes you need to figure out the connections. That's okay. how we solve the uh, Okay. Yes. Ooh, fractions. In the a following fraction. shape, the shaded part is three tenths of the rectangle and the three fifths of the square. Oh dear. Fractions. How many times the area of the rectangle is the square? It's the square. Oh, yeah. So mm, it, it's about fractions, right? Mm. You know why I said it's two again? Mm -hmm. Ten and a five. Yes, look, if you uh, can go ahead. five. As a denominator into ten as a denominator, mm -hmm. then that should be ten, ten, three out of ten, and six out of ten, and six out of ten is two times three out of ten. Good job. So again, shady part is still the part connect two parts. So we can uh -huh. still assume that shady part is a number, right? Here we can also see as a one, but it, since it's a fraction. If shaded yeah. part is one, then the rectangle will be 10 out of third, right? Mm -hmm. Just overlap, uh, just uh, change the denominator and denominator for the fraction. Yeah. And then the square will be, okay, three and a five, change the place. Then it will be five out of third. Yeah. So how many times the area of the rectangle Division, just this division, the fraction, if you know it, how to do it, it will be my, uh, equals two, right? Yeah. If you don't do it, a uh, quick showing process here, it will be uh, 10 out of three. Division of fraction, we make it times. So it will be change the denominator and numerator, it become like this. And then three divided by three, and then 10 divided by five equals two. That's how we get it. Okay, yeah. that's how we get it. Okay, so remember again, for those type of strategies, we always assume the shear part as a number and then use that number to represent the other shapes, all the shapes, and then try to find the connections out of those numbers. That's how we get it. Okay, okay, last question for today. Ooh -hoo -hoo. The falling shape Ooh. is the big square. Oh, big square. Mm. Big square, giant square. The giant shaded giant parts square are two. Oh, a shaded part are also squares. It's just one small, one big. The parameter, oh dear, a parameter. So this thing, again, telling us the parameter, ask about the area. The parameter of the two shaded squares are 50. What is the area of the big square? Oh dear, this question looks weird, right? Only telling us a number and mm -hmm. a shape, that's it. Mm, but the shape is pretty... So, the shaded part pretty are special. two squares, okay? Oh, the, the parameter shape. for the two shaded squares, like all together? Mm -hmm. The small square and the big square uh, together is 50. 50. 
what is the area of the big square? Weird question, right? Okay, so it was a number, but the shapes are all kind of special. Squeeze. Honestly, mm -hmm. I think we should use moving. Oh, we should use moving. Moving. What do you mean, moving? Like, like we're like using moving, like the using big moving. square and the small square and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, oh, square. The parameter telling us the parameter of the two shaded squares are fifty. So parameter again from our parameter chapter is that we can use move. We just see what we can get. Okay, mm, let let's move. So parameter parameter of the two squares. Okay, squares is all the sides together. Okay, how about we move this side? Ooh, over here. Over here, and then we move this side. Ooh, over here, and then this side. Ooh, over here. Yeah. And this side, oh, over here. After we move, what we learned from the parameter chapter is that when we see the total parameter of two two square or uh, two shapes, we will always try to move all the sides connected. See what we can get. After we move, mm -hmm. we, we know that oh, the total parameter of these two squares is actually the parameter of the Big, big giant thing. Where big giant? Yeah, big giant square. So now we know fifty is the square or is the parameter of this big square. Question is the area of the Maybe big what's, square. What what's fifty divided by four? Uh, so fifty divided by four. If you know uh, decimals, it so will one be second, one second. One second. Let me think. Twelve and twelve half. and twelve point five. Good job, 12 and a half, 12.5, 12 and a half. We know dominant dominoes, it will be 12 and a half. And then the area of the big square will be 12.5 times 12.5 equals 156.25. That's wow, how we get that. it, right? It's okay, that's the calculation. We're gonna cover in the in the school work later. But key point is that for this one, parameter, as long as we see that they're telling us the total parameter of the two two shapes, we always try to move the size to be connected. See what we can get for this okay. question. That's after cool. this, we know the param total parameter is actually the parameter of the big square. As long as we know the thing. big square. The parameter of the big square, we will know the side of the square. And that's how we get to figure out the area of the square, right? So yes. today, it's, oh, it's a pretty short of time, but we introduced several basic strategies to figure mm -hmm. out the, the area, right? First, mm -hmm. let's make a small conclusion. First, uh, for some weird shape, first strategy we use is always try to a separated into the pieces that we already know. For example, we separate the weird shape into uh, rectangles, squares, sometimes even triangles to separately calculate those small pieces area first and then put them together, right? Mm -hmm. And then B strategy we use will be, okay, it's a weird shape, but we can add an area, add a specific shape, for example, rectangle, square, sometimes triangle, to make this weird shape into a standard shape. Then we can calculate the standard shape and then divide, uh, de uh, minus the delay the area we, we add on to figure out the area of that a weird shape. Yeah. And second strategy is that for the overlap type of question to figure out area, we always uh, go from the go from the question and see what exactly the question asking about. Go from the questions, figure out what we need from what we need, and then we find out the connections between the the uh, the numbers we already know with the the size we need to know. Figure out the size we need to know to figure out the the questions. Mm -hmm. and then another type of question is the hardest one always is that. Uh, telling us the connections between, uh, telling us the parameter, asking about area. In this type of question, always see, okay, 
telling us the parameter. See if the parameter a either move all the size to to see if we can connect them, connect them together to find out the connections between the parameter and the area. Or use the parameter see what we can get. What's the what's the connections? What's the relations between, for example, rectangle between the length and the the width for the small pieces. And then from the small pieces, we go from the we go big to the uh, the, the the big shape that we need to find out. The other one is like uh, we have an overlap thing, and the overlap is, uh, for example, a quarter of the small one, uh, another uh, session or, or another part of the the other uh, shape, and try to find out the connections between the two shapes. In this way, we we'll always assume that the connected part is a number. And use that number to represent the other shapes, the the shapes that we need to find out the relations. Go go with the go with the numbers. Use the numbers to figure out the relations of the shapes. Mm -hmm. That's what we cover today. Okay, and that's yeah. all for today. Thanks for you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey, bye bye. See you on see, uh, Friday. See you Friday. Yeah, see you on Friday. Oh, I like your bye. I like your speaker. <laughs> bye. Bye. bye.